Okay, <laughs> we are live, guys. Um, hi, Rob. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Thanks for joining me today, all the way from Hamburg, Germany. Um, so, hey, everybody. We don't often do this, but maybe we need to do this more often. So, uh, there is a chat. If you guys want to let us know if um, if you can see us, that would be great. Yeah. So, Rob, what are we going to be doing in about, let's see, an hour and a half? We're going to go live on my YouTube channel. It's called a premiere. And what are we going to talk about, Rob? Yeah, so Pam has very kindly given me a little spotlight today. Um, so not this past weekend, but sort of 10 days ago, uh, the first weekend in December, I had an open studio here at my house, um, which was um, easily, I think, the biggest thing I've undertaken ever in my art life, art career. It was a mammoth undertaking. And so there's a lot of hard work involved, but also very rewarding moments. So. Um, we want to chat a little bit about that. Like, you know, obviously it's a possibility for other artists. So what, what went well, what went less well, um, what was involved. Um, and then um, ha have a little video tour of, of um, my studio and my home where all the art was hanging. And I think if we've got time, we'll chat about some individual work as well. You and me, Pam. Just... Yes. And, and just to let you guys know, um, when, when Rob and I plan to do something, whenever I ask him to do something with me, he doesn't just like put in a little bit of effort. He puts in a ton of effort. So <laughs> I, he, we talked about this, what, about a week ago. And for a week, he's been working on this presentation for everybody because he, he's a big, uh, sharer. He loves to share his experience with everybody. And, um, um, as you guys know, um, in my pro membership, um, which Rob is admin, um, people love his posts. Uh, they love to see his work. Um, he is a, an amazing abstract artist. And your main medium is, you want to talk about your main medium, Rob? Yeah, these days I usually put underneath acrylic and mixed media, which is kind of open, but I like using spray paint as well and pastels. And, um, but it's, it's almost all ac acrylic based mainly. Okay, and I want to just give a shout out to those of you, if you're in the Cold Wax and Oil Facebook group, uh, we're, we're playing this video now, but uh, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, in many of my videos on YouTube, you can see how you can work over an acrylic with cold wax and oil. So for those of you who might be interested in that, uh, just keep in mind that you know whatever Rob is doing, whatever he's showing you, you can work in acrylic first, and then work on top of that with cold wax and oil. So I just wanted you guys to know that this is uh, your opportunity to listen to a presentation about, you know, what if you want to have your own studio tour? What if the holidays are coming up or Easter's coming up or some special holiday and you want to, you know, you have a, a body of work and you'd like to show it in your house. And um, Rob, just uh, real briefly, tell us a little bit about like, how much space you had? Um, you have an apartment in Hamburg, Germany. So I only know the size in square meters, I'm afraid. It's, um, it's 115 square meters. So I mean, it's not massive, but it's not tiny either. And I made the, the conscious decision to go maximalist. So rather than have a very curated show with, um, you know, one, one picture on a big white wall, I plastered every wall I had, including the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom. <laughs> um, so it was sort of access all areas. Um, and I can talk about that a bit more in detail later. Um, that had pros and cons, I think. Um, it, it's a tricky one because, you know, if obviously if you had just have 10 works, they're very curated and there's the kind of, they, they have a different kind of value than when you have I mean, I had over 60 works that I had um, hung up, wow. which um, was on the one hand, a lot of hard work to install it. Yeah. And I think sort of looking back um, might have had a, an effect on how it was perceived. Yeah. But we can talk about that, but maybe a bit more later. Sure. We'll talk about all those things and trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, obviously you, you, you told me you spent a good two weeks prior preparing all the different, there's so many different things. Um, now, and, and also not to intimidate people because you can go super simple, 
right? You can also Always, go yeah. complex. And, uh, it, uh, but showing your work in your own, say, studio or your home or anything is very accessible. And it's uh, a great way to, you had a lot of friends. You also had, I mean, you probably had a wide variety, but we can talk about that as well. So we just want to say hi, everybody. And we want to really invite you to join us uh, live in about, well, it's going to be in about an hour and a half. And it's on my YouTube channel. So uh, as far as the, um, let me see if I can grab the link. Uh, sorry, guys. The best thing to do, I'm going to just pop in my um, my YouTube channel because that's where you want to go. It's just, um, it's not on Facebook. Uh, it's YouTube.com slash. Now, when you get to, to this, uh, my YouTube channel, you want to click on the live tab. And you'll see that it's very easy to find under the live tab. If you go there now, you'll see that it says upcoming event, right? So um, it's easy to find. Just go to my YouTube channel and uh, click on live on the live button. And you can even, I think, click like send me a reminder or something like that. So uh, we hope to see you there. And we're going to have a great discussion. And Rob will answer your questions about his work. Okay. Best, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See you, See you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. Bye.